This time I will present you a joint work with Cas Kremas, Charlie Jacob, and Meng Zhao on the uh, automated analysis of protocols that use authenticated encryption. So let me start with some um, like weird behaviors and uh, attacks we saw in protocols. So when uh, like the Facebook message ranking protocol is a uh, mechanism to report abuse in end-to-end -end, uh, encrypted communication, specifically the Facebook Messenger. And here, Krabs et al. in 2018 uh, found an attack where the reported, uh, the reported message by the user um, is different than the message that is then seen by the server, essentially rendering like this report mechanism useless. And the S-Frame protocol is an end-to-end -end encrypted, uh, encrypted group uh, communication protocol for audience video. And here, Isobe et al. in uh, 2021 uh, found a way to, for group members to impersonate other group members. And an old example, the UBHSM, it's a device to store cryptographic secrets like keys. And then it offers an API where it can then encrypt, uh, for example, using those keys uh, with like such that the secrets never leave the device. And here, Kinnaman and Steele in two, uh, 2012 found an attack that uh, leaked the secret key uh, on a device. And so the question is, where do these attacks come from? Which might be a weird question when I like have a talk which has like AADs in the title already. So we, we uh, saw that these attacks all came from weird AAD behavior. So to start, what is an AAD? Uh, it's authenticated encryption with associated data which is a way to symmetric, uh, symmetrically encrypt data that is also integrity protected, where the encryption often offers four inputs, being like a secret key and the data we want to encrypt, but also this associated data, which can be ca some kind of meter info, um, which is then in the clear, but it's also in, uh, integrity protected. And as a fourth input, we usually have some source of entropy, like nonces or counters. And for the properties like, uh, we, uh, we want, like, there's a problem. There are so many different, like, competing definitions, like, as we speak, um, that uh, even from, like, the zero uh, of definitions, we don't know what guarantees we can expect from an AAD as a protocol designer. So uh, we don't know uh, exactly uh, when we hear the ter term AAD, what do we get from it? So there are many ways we can misuse and misunderstand AADs, especially when using them in a cryptographic protocol. So to, to just give the examples of the previously named protocols, in the Facebook message ranking, it was possible for an AAD encrypted message to be decrypted under two different keys, receiving two different meaningful messages, essentially being a collision. For S-Frame, they split like the AAD construction and uh, into the encryption and the uh, authentication part and only worked with the authentication part, which le then led to an attack. Uh, and the UBHSM was like a first example of re uh, reusing nonsense for AADs is bad. So how, do, how can we prevent such attacks? And here we also would say like, usually we should do some security analysis for the protocols such that we can uh, prevent uh, such attacks from happening. But security analysis in that uh, setting can be hard because uh, when we look at the, the two models we usually use in, for, uh, to analyze cryptographic protocols, like the computational and the symbolic model, we have it that, especially for big protocols, proofs in the computational model and an, uh, uh, analysis for attack finding often does not scale and we also have limited automation Whereas in the symbolic model where we have like automation, we often have like uh, coarse uh, primitives, uh, like cryptographic primitives, models of them, and the traditional representation would miss all these nuanced attacks uh, that use AADs. So the attacks uh, found on these uh, uh, protocols that use AADs also were mostly manual effort. So we ask ourselves, can we do better here as well? And can we de automatically detect such uh, weird behaviors and attacks that are caused by AADs? And 
Our as our approach, we first started to collect all the definitions of AEDs we could find and all the known attacks we could find. Uh, and then we started to relate those definitions. Uh, and uh, for, for those we could not relate, we uh, tried to prove uh, proved, uh, missing ones. And we then also classified the attacks uh, into known vectors. Um, afterwards, we then built symbolic models uh, to uh, capture these attack vectors we classified. And in the end, we then uh, conducted case studies uh, to show the usefulness and the feasibility of our models uh, in uh, like real world protocols. So first, when we classified the, the notions and, uh, and the text, we like saw a lot of definitions and properties that are out there and we tried to connect them. Um, and uh, for those where we could not find any uh, or, uh, relations in the literature, we proved the missing ones here in the picture, in the uh, uh, lower picture, you see the green tags on, on the lines, which uh, were then proven by us. Um, and from these relations, we then identified three big theoretical classes um, that would capture most of the attacks, being like attacks on integrity and privacy, uh, like being attacks on, uh, with collisions, or by uh, misusing nonces. And for those three categories, we then looked at actual AAD instantiations that are used uh, in protocol implementations and checked whether uh, those um, concrete AAD instantiations have fulfilled these properties or not. Um, we all, all gathered them in a table uh, and um, you can uh, find all of those uh, in the paper. We then started to model these AAD weaknesses of these main classes we uh, identified, but we also did find a few like nuanced like, uh, attacks that uh, came from using AADs in a weird way. Um, well, for example, like splitting the verification and decryption part of an AAD. Uh, and then for each of these weaknesses uh, we identified, we potentially built multiple variants of symbolic models which we did model as a attacker uh, capabilities, and um, we built them such that they can be combined in an arbitrary fashion uh, later on when analyzing a protocol. So as next step, then we put all of that into the Tamarin Prover, as already, already mentioned, the state-of-the-art uh, tool to analyze security protocols. And to do this, we came up with two approaches to, to analyze them. First, a targeted approach where we uh, then check uh, the, the, uh, the closest scenario in the real world. So we uh, check the protocol we want to analyze, which AAD does it use in, in the implementation. Then we can, for example, look at our uh, table and see for ASGCM, uh, we do not have like the full collision resistance, so we use some models uh, we built that uh, can produce collisions to then uh, see if the protocol in the end is secure or not. And the second approach, we call the preemptive approach, where we then check the protocol against all the different AAD threat models, which we do use to see for uh, a given protocol, maybe in, in the de uh, design phase, what requirements on the AAD do we actually have. So, and here we then build a program to run all the combinations uh, of the AAD uh, attacker models automatically and report the results. And with the results, we mean all the minimal threat models that could lead to potential attacks, but also the strongest threat models under which we can find proofs. And to test the first approach, we use the three protocols I mentioned in the beginning, the UBHSM, the S-Frame, and the Facebook message ranking. We checked which AAD instance they use uh, in practice. Uh, chose the uh, corresponding attacker models and could refine the uh, attacks in the matter of seconds. For the preemptive approach, we then modeled a different set of uh, protocols, for example, GPG or WhatsApp group messaging, Scuttlebutt, um, modeled multiple properties, checked uh, then uh, the AAD instances, but still run all the different uh, uh, models against them instead of the uh, targeted approach. And then we could uh, find uh, for all of them um, 
unwanted behavior in our uh, with the collision threat models. Uh, for some of them, like GPG or salt pack, these were false attacks um, and uh, were over approximation, so we see, uh, deemed them infeasible. But for others, like WhatsApp group messaging, um, we deemed these attacks uh, feasible and reported them to uh, the vendors. Uh, for, uh, in the case of the Web Push API, um, the uh, authors acknowledged uh, our uh, findings. We're still in discussion. WhatsApp mentioned uh, that uh, this uh, kind of attack lies outside of their uh, intended threat model. And from Scuttlebutt, we did not yet receive any replies. And uh, with this, Oh, like uh, the full automated analysis to, to sum it up for all of them with all the models took less than two hours. So uh, it's, it's really feasible to, to use the models. And then thank you and feel free to ask any questions. <laughs>